In this video, I will show you how to use a VPN on your PS5. So there's going to be two parts to this tutorial, and for the first part, you're going to need a Android device. So with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So the first thing you're going to have to do on your Android device is download a app called Every Proxy. So what you want to do is go ahead and open up the Play Store. Then what you want to do is go ahead and use the search icon to go ahead and search for the Every Proxy app. So the Every Proxy app is this one down here provided by Gorilla Software. So what you want to do is go ahead and install this on your device. And once that's installed, go ahead and open up the app. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the settings. So if you can press the three dots in the top right hand corner of the screen and then press on to settings. And from here, you want to change the IP address. So you actually want to use this one here, where it's like 192.168. For the port, make sure that it's set to 8080. Then what you can do is just go ahead and press the back arrow in the top left-hand corner. So next, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and turn this option on. So you want to press the switch to turn on HTTPS. And once that's done, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up the VPN on your device. So in this tutorial, I will be using ProtonVPN, but this does work with other providers such as things like NordVPN and Surfshark. So what you're going to want to do is open up and log into your account. So once you've gone ahead and logged in, what you're going to want to do is come into the settings for the VPN. So that's generally in the menu at the top. So you want to come into the settings. And from here, you want to find the protocol option, which is just down here. Go ahead and press on that and what you want to do is change this to openvpn udp or openvpn tcp you can use either of these and once that's done just go ahead and connect to the country that you want to connect to so i'm just going to go ahead and use the quick connection feature and this is going to connect to our country so once you're connected the final thing you're going to want to do is turn on your mobile hotspot so to do that you just want to swipe down from the top and then swipe down again and you're going to see the option here for mobile hotspot. So go ahead and turn that on. Once that's done, that is everything you need to do on your phone. So now you're going to want to jump on your PS5 and I will show you the next steps. So here we are, as you can see, I've got the PlayStation loaded. Now what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and log into your account. Once you're logged in, if you come up to the top, you're going to want to press onto the gear icon to go into your settings and then just scroll down to network and then press X. Next, what you want to do is come down to settings and then you want to go on to set up internet connection. Now, as you can see, your phone should be coming up underneath networks found. So you just want to go ahead and select from the list and enter the passwords to connect to your device. And as you can see, we are now connecting to our mobile hotspot. So just take a second to do this. As you can see, we're now connected. Now the last step to do is press start on your controller. Then go into advanced settings and underneath IP address settings, what you want to do is change this from automatic to manual and you want to enter the IP address that was given to you by the Every Proxy app. So the bit at the beginning where it was like the 192.168, you just want to enter that in. And once that's done, you'll be all good to go and you'll be able to choose a VPN on your PS5. So that's how to go ahead and use a VPN on your PS5. I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.